Now you guys understand the sweat, blood and tears I've had to endure over time trying to edit these videos with this laptop. Over the past few months I've assembled what is needed to build a more powerful PC for the much needed upgrade. Let's dive right in. So check out what we have here. We'll be doing our build in this tiny but beautiful ITX case that we got from Taobao. And I'll make a different video showing you how I managed to buy from the Chinese website. Yet I speak no Chinese at all. Yeah, this is as minimalist as they come. Beautiful and white. The motherboard is going to be the B550 Aorus Pro AX from Gigabyte. It's quite a robust motherboard that will run even our future upgrades with no problem. For the processor, I went with the Ryzen 5 3600X and the graphics card is from Zotac. It's the 1660 Ti, which will also do much better than the laptop for editing 4K video. Our boot drive and the main storage will be supplied by this fast silicon power M.2 NVMe SSD, 1 terabyte in size. And I'll also throw into the case this Seagate 2 terabyte Fire CUDA hard drive that I've kept around for more than three years without putting it into use. We knew that at some point I'll build a PC. For the memory, I went with the Oloi All series, 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz memory, which would be very fast and will pair very well with the Ryzen processor. And everything will be powered up by this Corsair SF600 power supply. The SFX form factor will fit into the case no problem. And this will provide enough juice for everything and more. As you can see it's also fully modular so it will be a pleasure to work with in our tiny case. And to cool down everything we'll throw in a bunch of these Noctua slim profile fans. Right now on hand I have this one but I'll be adding in another one soon. So after unboxing everything and that introduction, the build starts off by throwing in the processor into the motherboard and making sure it is well secured. We then go ahead and populate the two RAM slots with our 32 GBs of RAM, 16 GBs per stick. The next step is to get out this metal block that is covering the M.2 SSD slot. And after peeling off the mask from the SSD heatsink, we are ready to install the M.2 drive. Now it's well secured in place and it's time to return the heatsink to keep it nice and cool. Next to remove these blocks from the motherboard we won't be needing them. And it's time to get our cooler ready, we'll just be using the stock cooler that came with the processor. Only that we'll use some higher quality thermal paste from Arctic and so a careful amount of it goes onto the processor and uh, we are ready to screw down the cooler. And plug it in into the CPU fan header on the motherboard. And with that, the motherboard is fully built up. And we're now ready to jump into preparing our case to receive all the internals. Then next we'll have to disassemble most of the case to just make our process of building in it much easier. So we'll start out by securing our 3.5 inch drive onto this bracket. 
And because we'll also be using another 2.5 inch hard drive that I had laying around, we also secure it onto its bracket. We then proceed to securely mount up the power supply on its bracket and connect the power cable. And next I proceed to connect all the cables that I'll be needing from the power supply. The 2.5 inch drive then goes onto the bottom plate of the case and it's securely fixed by screws. And I proceed to disassemble the case even further just to make my work easier putting in all the components. Next our fan goes onto the bracket at the top. And after that we are ready to refix the bottom panel of the case. So the motherboard being ready, it's time to get it into the case. And after connecting all the cables, we tuck in the excess cables just under the power supply. And then I proceed to connect the riser cable, which will connect our graphics card onto the motherboard. And the graphics card goes onto the opposite side of the case. And with that, the build is more or less done. So we are connected to the monitor and the moment of truth has come. Let's see whether it will post. Uh, power on. Okay. Looks like there's a problem somewhere. Oh, we hadn't switched on the power. I don't know what I did under there, but now the power is on. Now, the moment of truth. Three, two, one. As you can see, everything has started speeding up. Will it post? I hope so. A few moments later. And there we have it! <laughs> this is amazing. Now, guys, listen to me. I literally just stepped out to take some lunch and i didn't even really eat it this is actually the video that you are watching here it is and it's in 4k 13 minutes long with a lot of effects colors and so on you guys know how we do our stuff over here and my videos are usually about 10 minutes long but the laptop takes literally the whole night till the next morning to render the video not less than 10 hours but this beauty of a machine has rendered this 13 minute video in literally 45 minutes actually a little less than 45 i didn't really check probably 43 minutes oh i am impressed it's not the latest and the greatest but it makes a very big difference to me and my workflow over here yeah that is it for today thanks a lot for watching this far you guys know the drill if you like it go like it if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button on your way down there if you have any questions comments you guys know where we meet down here in the comment section as always see you in the next one no pressure <laughs>